Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Should we get into the 40 series? Yep. Let's go. All right, so, so the next story is there's more, um, a lot more info now on the G uh, on the GeForce RTX 40 Super Series of GPUs that um, are going to be announced at CES 2024 in January in Las Vegas, the Consumer Electronics Show. Um, NVIDIA has officially basically said that we're going to, you know, save the date. We're going to have a presentation, but you know. There are there is no like info outside of that. You know they haven't actually like shown images or anything like that. Everything else is based on leaks uh, from a number of sources. So basically, all um, known Nvidia leakers and mm. or GPU insiders and stuff have all basically said that yes, there is a GeForce RTX forty seventy super coming. A forty. This is the confusing one. A forty seventy Ti super <laughs> coming, <No. laughs> and a forty eighty super coming. And the big news, um, which has come from a number of sources, including a YouTube channel, Moore's Law is dead, uh, that <laughs> Nvidia is going to be really aggressive when it comes to the pricing. So currently, the forty eighty, which is um, so, like, it, it is not the most popular GPU in the series, um, just based on sales, just based on where it where it sits in the pricing stack. More people are looking towards the forty ninety or the or the value of the forty seventy Ti, mm. as opposed to that. So, the forty eighty Super um, will go head to head with um, AMD's flagship seventy nine hundred XTX, and it's going to be apparently priced at nine nine nine, which is two hundred dollars US cheaper than the current forty eighty. Which Ooh, makes wow. me wonder what 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 the for current forty eighty is going to be. Yeah. Price drop too. So yeah. So and and apparently the forty seventy Ti Super is going to replace the forty seventy Ti's price of like seven ninety nine potentially or up to eight forty nine, which is cheaper than the current forty seventy Ti vanilla. Hmm. Um, and that's going to compete directly with AMD's seventy nine hundred XT um, as a more powerful better value solution and going down to the 4070 super which apparently this gpu is going to be the um probably the most interesting one because the 4070 super is reportedly you know up to 20 percent faster or 15 to 20 percent faster than the current 4070 which is the best value gpu um probably one of the best value gpus in the entire 40 series and it'll come in for the same price which means that the existing 4070 will drop in price. So, like, if all of this is true, then early next year, or when if Nvidia launch all these GPUs next year, they're basically um, it's it's a big push for them to sell GPUs to PC mm. gamers. Oh yeah, definitely. Why are we combining Ti and Super? Exactly right, because it's it's confusing as all hell. So the way the way it works oh, is that. Oh, I hate how tech is named sometimes. So, like, you know, because... It's just so, like, it's all, this is already confusing enough for people that mm -hmm. don't know about... Because, go on, yeah. go on. Get, no, you go on. <laughs> go on, explain just it. Just, like, explain it to the people, right, Costa. So, like, so, you've got your vanilla GPU, and then <laughs> the Super is more powerful than the vanilla, and the TI is more powerful than the Super. But if you've got a TI Super, then it's more powerful than the TI. The 4070 TI Super is is one that I don't know if they should have even bothered with. What are you else. doing, NVIDIA? Because the, 40, <laughs> 70, the, the 4070 TI is, you know, is more powerful or on par with a, like a 3090, right? But way more efficient. Mm. And, you know, if they just, just lowered the price of that card, it's like the, it's one of the best value. Like it's not best... Maybe not best value, but it's one of the best like high-end GPUs you can get because it's not ridiculous. It's like half the price of the 4090 in a lot of cases. Mm. And you're getting like, you know, 3090 or better level performance with better ray tracing, DLSS3, um, you know, excellent power efficiency, you know, uses way less power than the 3090. But, you know, it's like one of those great sort of like yeah. everything. It ticks all these right boxes. So like make adding like a super towards the end um who knows what they're gonna like why or why what that means for the existing like maybe they're just gonna phase out the existing ones for a few of these but hopefully not 
because the most latest the latest Steam hardware survey shows that the 4070 is the most popular GPU in the 40 series. So that's why so, they're rolling out a TI Super is like well, the, straight to those people. I think it's a it's a 4070 Super like that. Oh, like, 47. Like said, sorry. Yeah, so this is how confusing it is, right? Oh, like, yeah. So like the 4070 will will officially drop in price if the 4070 Super is coming in at the same price. So the 4070 will drop in price and that'll continue to to will probably sell like hotcakes because it's currently the most popular GPU um, mm. because it it hits the right sort of like price point. Yeah. And and then if you add a 4070 Super which is like more powerful then that'll just like it'll just those two GPUs will become super popular. Will probably be the most talked about. What are we thinking? Most- price reduction, couple. It's got to be at least what, 150, 200. Yeah, I don't it think has so. To- what? What? Like, I th- you think I, less? I think they. I think the 4070 they dropped to 499, and then the 4070 Super's 599. What about the 4070 Ti Super? Yeah, who knows? Like, that's, where does that that's sit? Like, then apparently, that's this- like a big performance increase as well, but. It has to be. They put super on the end of TI. Yeah. It can't be super and then only like $50 more. 4070 TI super TI. This is going to give me a nosebleed. <laughs> this is this is how you lose blood, I think. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, all a bunch of like, of just like acronyms and all sorts of stuff. But like Let's just say the full name for... The 4070 Ti Super. It is the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super. It is yeah. it is six words or, or so, like five words for this one product. Mm-hmm. Help the consumer. Like the and iPhone is called the iPhone, and then you get the iPhone Pro, iPhone Pro Max, and then you get the all. There's the there's like three models or so. And yeah, different I sizes. Think, this, these, these, these names are silly. Yeah, I think that it should just be the refresh, right? I think that they should just get rid of the forty seventy Ti altogether if the, if they're introducing this card, the super version, because I guess the big thing is that it has sixteen gig versus twelve gig of VRAM, which was like the only, I guess, negative for the forty seventy Ti was that people saying, "Oh, well, the twelve gig is not enough." Right. right. Um, and it's going to use the same power, but it's going to be more powerful. So in that case, then just get rid of the 4070 Ti and just have this new super version and just call it Super 16 Gig or something like that. And then that would be it's nice. less confusing because then it's just because then it's just um, it's more powerful and it's got more VRAM and it's like okay, so the previous version is no longer available or, or will be phased out. And so then you've just got the 4070, 4070 Super and the 4070 Ti Super 16 gig. Yeah, I really wish I they know. differentiated a little bit but more. But it's always been it's always been like, you know, like a nightmare. They slot in they slot in too many models, right? It's like with the TIs, like it makes sense, but now you're throwing Super in there as well for most of them and you know, if they do like a 4060 Super like down the road it's just going to become insane. Like yeah. you got yeah, so essentially you've got three 4070s <laughs> and then if they add a 4060 Super, then you've got to have three 4060s. Oh, boy. <sighs> but it'll be interesting because I think like I think the main thing is that you've got the price cuts. If that turns out to be true, then that's um, at it, least the good news from it. It does seem like the sweet spot for the f- uh, in terms of like the Steam hardware sales, the... Um, uh, the amount of... Um, Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm just reading this here. No, it does seem like the sweet spot in terms of like what everyone needs out of that card. And if like, if the 4070 Ti Super is like, like you were saying, the 4070 Ti has 12 gig and then the Super has 16 gig. I mean, people that own the 4070 aren't going to upgrade to the 16 gig version, but with a significant price reduction, they're probably going to sell just more 4070 Ti's. Yeah. yeah. And, well, and 4070 Supers. And 4070 that, Supers, that also, yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, the 4080 Super makes sense because the 4080 just felt like it was just, it was just not, you know, like it was just in between the 4070 Ti and the 4090. And the yeah. 4090 is like, you know, this beast. And then you got the 4070 Ti was like, which is, you know, it's awesome. It's like, you know, you've got 3090 level performance or, or greater with all these extra features. Then you got this 4080 that, yeah, Sure, it's more powerful, but it was just like, you know, the price difference 
And it's like, well, if you're already spending like 1200 why, why not spend Yeah, why not go the full full nine yards well, on it? That makes yeah. sense. So if they're dropping the price of that and then making it more powerful or whatever the case is, then, you know, that might move the needle for the 4080 because the 3080, like if you remember, like everybody talked about the 3080, right? Yeah. And But nobody's really talking about the 4080 because, you know, it's other GPUs are more, seem better value. Yeah, that's true. Do you think we could see a forty ninety super Ti? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I think with like the you know like how the forty ninety is now not restricted for sale in China. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a that, it's a nuclear is. weapon or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, I I just don't think there's there, there's there, no chance. I think they're just gonna be like, well, why? Because yeah. there's, there's nothing like this forty eighty super is apparently like you know a uh you know that the flagship radeon card the 7900 xtx killer so it's mm. it's um it's going to have more vram it's going to be more power efficient it's going to be more powerful or better value than that so if the, if the 4080 super is already like you know well even if you take the 4090 out of the equation it could technically be the most powerful gpu available then what incentive is there for them to yeah take the substantially more powerful 4090 and make that more powerful and it would have to be way more powerful for people that are buying the 4090 like the enthusiast yeah. gamers to warrant an upgrade like it can't be like oh here's a 15 percent bump in performance it's like where everyone that owns a 4090 isn't going to be like oh, i need the new yeah. i need the new powerful graphics the most powerful graphics card now the 4090 is like in nine times out of ten you're playing games um and just marveling at how little the GPU is being taxed, right? <laughs> yeah. In most games. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, there are titles like, you know, Cyberpunk and Alan Wake when you enable path tracing and frame generation and you're like, oh, how amazing does this look, right? And it all looks like insane because it's like, it's what games will look like a decade mm. from now. Yeah, I you forget know, that I'm even what? got a GPU plugged in. That's how good the 4090 is. Yeah, but most of the time is I'm yeah. running like Diablo 4 at, hundred and four thousand frames a second <laughs> well, I, I cap it at 120 fps yeah fair. and 4k yeah. and max visual quality yeah. no dlss and Ooh. it's the gpu is at like 20 30 percent yeah and it's, and it's using like 150 watts or something like and it's, it's probably like, insane, like 40 right? degrees or something like that <laughs> yeah it's, doing it's nothing. fine it's fine it's, so it's, good. it's like it's doing like five kilo curls at the gym so, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I could, no I could push it to like three, four hundred <sighs> FPS and and max it out. But what's like Why? the point is like this is nice and smooth, and it's like doing nothing. It's just sitting there. Yeah, like, and you don't need yeah. it for Diablo either. That's that no. top down is fine. Uh, well, that's good to that's good to hear. Even though the pricing, I mean, not the pricing. Sorry, the naming for these. The naming um, is going to get more confusing. Oh yeah, it's nosebleed territory. Um, okay, what next is on the menu? Oh, we have the packaging. Did you want to talk about that a little bit, or is that all a part of the same story there? Well, that so no, the forty seven. So yeah, so the packaging for the most confusing one was leaked. Yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good. The, look, look at it. It says GeForce RTX forty Ti Super, and uh, the packaging at least shows that they're using the new fonts, which is like very minimal. You know, it's just super with like a bold, nice background. and subtle, but, so you can yeah. kind of overlook it. And, uh, um, <laughs> it, it like the packaging makes it less confusing, I guess, because if you see the super, the super is like has that bold background. So at least if you saw the Reekdale packaging, you'll see like 4070 Ti and you see 4070 Ti super and you see super and you're like, okay, so the super at the end <laughs> means something. But at the end of the day, if you saw the 4070, like if you saw the packages on, on the shelf, you saw 4070, 4070 Ti, and then 4070, oh, sorry, 4070 super, then 4070 Ti super. If you saw all four of them, would and you had no idea, yeah, what was going on with the GPU. You'd be like, what? what no, is, it's like what looking at monitors. It's like looking. This is literally. Oh, yeah. It's getting closer and closer to monitor this naming. This is forty nine X five two five two six. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, oh, wait, is that is, is, is that is that the good one? Is that the have good you got one? The, yeah, you got the, the XBW. <laughs> Do consumers a favor? Just make it <laughs> simple. Kiss. Make it. Keep it simple. Stupid. That's yeah. how that's how you like I'm gonna try and explain this to like my best mate. Be like, oh yeah, there's new graphics cards coming out. He has no idea about this. Do you know how confusing that conversation will be? 
Yeah, I know. Basically, <laughs> that's why you need to know somebody. You just say, look, just buy this one. Yeah. Like, you don't even have to explain them. You say, look, this is the one you want to get. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, and you get to, but now you're going to have to tell them to write it down because it's, you get to listen. You're going to be confused. So you have to yeah. get the 4070 so Super. The not the G- 4070 Ti. <laughs> the 4070 Ti Super. Not the 4070 without it. You have to get the four get the oh. CDs. it's so rough rough out here i suppose that's our job though is to communicate which one Uh to the consumers (laughs) it's just it's not our job dot points it's their job it is their job yes yeah don't don't put this on us yeah why do why are we (laughs) translating for them (laughs) 